Hey everybody, uh, good Saturday afternoon. It is, I don't know what time it is, it's Saturday evening, probably 4.35 o'clock. Um, doing something for my GoPros. Uh, some of you may know that I film everything on GoPros. That and I use my uh, iPhone a lot. Uh, most of the time it's on the GoPro. Uh, I bought two of them. I have uh, two of the GoPro Hero 7 Blacks. Uh, so I was looking at different ways. I see a lot of people doing time lapses and stuff. So I was looking at a few different ways of doing time lapse. And one of them is actually a moving time lapse. So I got a big fingerprint on the thing. Let me get that. There we go. Oh, hope that's better. Hope that comes out better. There's a big fingerprint on the thing I put on there, on the, on the, on the uh, lens. So get back to it. Um, again, I have two two of the GoPro Hero Blacks. Uh, that's what I use. Uh, my setup that I talk to is a GoPro Hero 7 Black, and it has a Rogue mic on it. I uh, had to get the adapter through GoPro and yada, yada, yada. Kind of expense, $50 for it, but hey, it works. Um, so, what we're doing today is we're going to actually make a timing, a timer for a moving time lapse. That way I could put either one of the cameras up and set them up and get a really cool moving time lapse. So, that's what we're doing today. Um, very simple DIY stuff. That's what the channel's about. So, what we're going to use is an egg timer. Yep, you heard me right. Egg timer. And it's going to move. This, you could get actually, well, hang on, the bells going to ring. You could actually get 360 degrees. Uh, you'd have to set the timing in your camera and everything. I quite haven't figured that out yet, but I will. But with this, you mount the GoPro on the top of it with a. Ooh, I had it in my pocket. I got it. Still have it in my pocket. One of the adhesive mounts sticks to the top of the GoPro, and then the camera goes in. And as the egg timer is timing, the camera moves. So that is what we're going to do today. Uh, so we're going to get started on this. I'm going to turn the camera down so you guys can see what I'm do actually doing here on my little table and uh, show you some of the tools you're going to need to do this with. So hang okay, on. Okay, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need an egg timer. You're going to need a small Phillips head. You're going to need a any type of center mark I, I got a little uh, press punch here or push punch um, it should punch in this metal pretty good a knife nothing big you ain't gonna have one of big hawking knives a drill bit and I'll get this a 1764 it is one size up from a quarter of an inch um, most tripods are quarter 20 and that's what we're gonna work with you're going to need a move this a quarter 20 bolt and I got a few a few extra nuts here just in case I, I was gonna try a couple of different things here to see if it works uh, and one of those things is these are very as you can see they're very thin nuts which you, you really want any any anyone would work but then I also have one of these with a the flange on it. And I really like the idea of the one with the flange. Because you, once you drill your hole, it's all, it's got it's a built-in washer is what it is. And it's got little grippies. When you bolt it down, tighten it down, it, you know, it grips into the metal and helps it stay. Uh, not too concerned about that. I just like the idea of the bigger washer. So let's get started. The sun is kicking today. So I already, already got started. You gotta find these uh, screws. 
there's uh, I think four, three or four. So we're just gonna run around here, doing like see there's one right there. So we're gonna cut the cut the foam away. You know we could just pull the whole foam off, but I thought it would be a really um, it would help the the timer when you bolt it or when you clamp it down to your uh, tripod. Or if you just want to set this on something, um, you know, it wouldn't scratch it. It'd be it'd be nice. Fun. So the way it's looking, it looks like there's going to be three. So there's going to be another one right there. The camera's moving a little bit because my table is really not this stable. So I apologize for that. I'll pick my arms up off of it. Motorcycle going by. I miss my motorcycle, but I don't miss having to swerve around cars when people aren't paying attention. So we're going to take those screws out. Well, I was. It really looks like that they stripped them back so you can't take take them apart. But we will find a way. I'm gonna pause and get another tool. Hang on, okay, I'm back. What I had to do, I got a flathead and it goes across and it takes it out really easy. Again, I'm so sorry about the shaking, guys. Okay. One screw out. Oh, I did, for, I did forget to mention, you also need uh, some way of heating up the nut and some way of protecting your hands. You don't wanna hold on to a bolt while you're heating a nut because it does transfer the heat Okay, I'm trying to keep this in camera. So, there's the three screws out. We take the top off, take the bottom off. Boom, bottom's off. See how it's got, this is all plastic in here. That's where we're gonna center this nut. Uh, my suggestion is that you take and, and, and drop the threads down on it a little bit like this. Uh, I'm hoping that comes in better right there. Because that center hole, see how it fits right in that hole? That's perfect, because that's where you want to push it down at. Uh, not a lot of threads. That just help keep you, uh, help you get it centered. So just, you know, just a minute amount of threads just to help you get it centered. And it'll drop right there. Actually, probably what we could do is drill that out to 17, 30 seconds. And just, you know, because it is plastic and uh, it'll, it would probably work that way. But uh, what I have is this torch. This is what I'm gonna, gonna use to heat up the nut. So uh, I'm gonna get set up for that and uh, we'll go for Everything that. seems to be set up uh, where you guys can see it. I got a pair of pliers to try to stop the heat a little bit. I, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna heat this bolt up off the screen. I don't wanna melt my uh, uh, melt my uh, fuzzy cover on my my. Um, I don't know exactly how much you need to heat this, so we may have to do it a couple of times. It shouldn't take very much to heat it up. Cause It's pretty, it's flame's pretty hot. And I had to pick it, so the bolt is discoloring, so the nut is, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna shut this thing off and press it. Oh, that worked better than I thought. Okay, so. 
Now we gotta let this thing cool. I'm gonna set it down. See how it made the nut in there? Nut insert in there? I think I went a little too far with it. But the nut will be in there. They say to take and cut this off. I'm going to get it while it's hot. There, it's off. Um, yeah, it's not very thick. So let's just hope that it doesn't spin in there. I think I pushed it too far. If not, I have to take it apart and do something different. But so this is the nut that's gonna go in there. No, it uh just about right. See how that sits in there? It's in the center. So, yeah, and it won't turn. And that's what you want. See, then when this plate goes on here, it'll hold it, it, it'll hold it in place. So we're gonna set that to the side. And then we're gonna get our little, it's called an awl. It's got a point on it. If you, when you look at these things, you'll see where they cleaned them up and it brushed it and it brought it to a circle. That brush strokes or sanding marks is going to give you the exact center of this piece, which is right there. Normally I'd have a hammer, but yeah, see, oh yeah, it's almost dead center. That's the reason why you want the, just the hair bit bigger drill bit so if you're off just a hair either direction you don't have nothing to worry about your uh, little bit bigger is gonna take up the human error part in any <clears throat> any construction so I'm gonna move this out here I don't, I don't yeah you guys can still see it I'm gonna drill it's gonna get loud because the drill is right beside the mic so, sensitive ears, hang on. Punch through already. There it went. Okay. Let me look. There's, there's a little bit of burr on the inside. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Uh, that won't do it. This here, there's a little bit of bend up. I'm going to smack that down. See the hole? Now, what we do is we line this back up with our holes. Okay, there it is. There they are over here. See how the quarter 20, and I think I started the timer, the uh, bell again. Okay, the quarter 20, which would be your tripod, screws right into it. Is that awesome or what? DIY, baby. The heck with paying all that money for a timer turner. In just a few minutes, we made one. I got, uh, these are from Ikea. Uh, got them on Amazon. You guys have to look on Amazon for I guess Ikea egg timer. That's what I put in and found them. Uh, see, I can't, uh, it's not my idea, it's someone else's. I don't know who came up with it, but you're a genius. And you should, uh, should make a lot of money on your video. Uh oh, nut came out. Let me pick that up. Okay, we're gonna put the nut back in where it belongs. Okay, there. See, it, it it's in there and it's not gonna turn. It's that's cool. I hope this stays working the times I want to use it. I've got a I've got two of them and I'm going to make another one off camera. And I know not to press that down so hard next time. But uh We'll number them, just like I did my cameras. We'll number them, one and two, 
and we'll know one is the first one we go to and you know two will be this one here if you have to put it on a tripod then you put it on a tripod but uh, um, I'm sure it's gonna work fine it's the only thing I hate about little tiny screws big fat fingers sausages nope not gonna work it's gotta go in there straight We got it lined up. Uh, one other thing you're going to need is some alcohol, and I forgot to bring the alcohol out. Oop. So there's your hole in your timer. The nut underneath it, it pressed it up a little bit. But the best part about it, that means it's pinching it. It did not come above the rubber. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me move this. Okay, it did not come above the rubber, but it did press up the center just a little bit. And to me, that's what you want. Now we've got a nice tight fit there. And uh, when you screw it down to your camera mount, it's not gonna go anywhere. Wow. You guys are gonna have to forgive me. I am burning up in the sun. Started out, there was a nice cloud covering the sun, and I think there's one coming back because it's starting to cool off just a hair. But this is almost done. Let me. Um, I'm gonna. Tr the, I think the next one I'm gonna try with one of the thinner nuts. We're gonna we're gonna try it with that because it seems like that the the uh, washer nut that I have is a, maybe a hair bit overkill because it's just showing the threads. I don't know if you guys can see that. And that hole. I think it's perfect. So, let's go get some alcohol. Well, that didn't take a second. The best part about not putting stuff up when you're done with it is that you can always pick it right back up you don't have to go all the way back in the house to get it if you guys saw my garage you would understand that thinking on my part it's a mess we trying to get ready for this trip and working on this and working on that it's it's kind of <clears throat> overwhelming um, I still haven't got my tent up out here I'm kind of waiting on the weather to die off a little bit so we're not getting uh, monsoons every day. Now, we have the GoPro mount with a 3M tape on it. came that way. <clears throat> what I'm going to use is there is a dot for the zero. That's I guess that's how you tell how many minutes you got, which is perfect. So if you line this thing up with that dot and your camera's pointing towards the dot, it's going to give you an amazing reference point to where, you know, if you want your camera to go from point A to point B, uh, you can say, okay, this is point B, this is where I want it to stop at, and then rotate the top to where you want it to start at, and just hit the time lapse and, and go and let it go and um, the bell will let you know when your time lapse is over that's the best part you can kick back and do whatever you need to do and relax and wait for the bell to go off just like you're cooking an egg okay so that is sorry about that wobble guys it's just my table I gotta get a I gotta get a different table to work on so now we're going to pull the tape off and with these GoPro mounts it don't matter it doesn't matter which way you put them uh, it'll go in either direction I have one in, in, inside the Jeep 
on a <clears throat> lock for my uh, on a mount on my bar. I move it to the hand grip. I like it on the hand grip better. Okay. I guess that's good when you can't hardly rip them off, huh? So, we know where we want it to point. We're gonna line everything up. This does not have to be perfect, guys. It just has to be close. And there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my tripod out. I'm gonna set this up on my tripod and put a uh, put one of my cameras on on this as a timer and shoot a time lapse right here in my front yard. <clears throat> uh, excuse the grass. Tomorrow is mow day. I will mow tomorrow um, and get a time lapse. And then I'm also going to do one setting still, and I'm going to put them both up. And you guys tell me which one you like the best. So. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my tripod out and get this thing set up and uh, hope you guys like okay. it. Okay. What I have now is I have the new timer, egg timer for my time lapse set up on a tripod. Let me let me turn this around so you guys can see it. There it is. Uh, don't worry about the paper, it's just there to level it. Yeah, I got a cheap one from Walmart and it's not quite level. So I tried to level it the best I can. So I'm going to actually set this camera that you're looking at right now up to, in time lapse to watch this one work in time lapse. And then I'll show you the video that this one is shooting with a rotating time lapse. So that's what I'm going to get set up now. So hang on for that. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, very simple to do. Cars going by, again, I live on a busy street, so um, it was very simple to make. It's DIY, remember that's what this channel is all about. DIY, here it is. I have two of these now. I can set one, I still left the rubber on the bottom. I can set one on the hood of the Jeep. You know, when we're camping or out in an event or something like that, put it on the dash and just let it do a time lapse out the windshield or set it up on the roof and let it do a time lapse. Um, <coughs> I can, you know, I always have a backup. I mean, uh, for, I got these off of Amazon for like nine bucks. So uh, let's say $20 to have them shipped, everything, Amazon Prime. So uh, I think it was 2019 or something like that. Uh, of course, the sticky GoPro mounts, I don't know how much they are. I got mine with my GoPro, so I don't know. Uh, something very simple. Uh, as you've seen the video, it works very well. I'm hoping. 
I actually haven't seen the video, so I'm kind of like doing this before I edit the video. So uh, I hope it come out all right. But yeah, it seemed to work really well. I ran out of SD card. You gotta get bigger cards. Sorry about that, guys. So uh, that's when you know you're done. As always, guys, remember, be safe in your shops. Be safe when you're driving out down the road. And when you're on the trail, stay on the trail. Peace out.